Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mows. In today's episode we're going to be taking a little look at this um, little leaf blower. It just came in, um, it's a G-Tech um, leaf blower. It says it's from Devon but I think that's just a garden machinery um, uh, make on it. Uh, a garden machinery uh, lawnmower place that originally come from or, or has been serviced. I'm not quite sure what the actual make is. I'm not actually seeing one at all full stop. It says G-Tech on here but I'm not quite sure that, uh, that's correct. I'm not seeing any make or model on it here at all. This was bought in off a gentleman that I think I sold or either a pedalormer um, years ago. And uh, he texted me up saying, are you still going? Yes, I am. And uh, can you look at my leaf blower and what have you? So he just dropped it off. Uh, he buys pre-mixed fuel, uh, already mixed up and what have you, apparently. Um, so it was all working fine, but this year he's gone out to start it and it, it won't even fire. It pulls over, but won't, won't fire at all. So... We'll look at that as well today. Um, but on top of that, I was watching uh, Benedict White's video just the other day, and he picked up a little welder from Banggood, um, a little stick welder. It was cheap, cheap, and uh, I do need a welder, so I thought, well, I'll do the same. I'll have a little go at that. Um, so I've picked up some rods. I've got some more rods coming. These are 2.5s, I think. I've got some more coming as well. But I picked myself up a little tiny um, welder. It comes with a little tiny, cheap, tacky mask, which will probably just go straight in the old bin. Um, I have bought a, uh, an auto one uh, that's coming, that'd be in a day or two. But it's got all the leads on it, and the leads are quite heavy duty. And the, it's a little tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. I don't need nothing, nothing big in my in my workshop. This is tiddly. Um, a little static um, art welder. Um, I think I paid about 60 quid for that off of Amazon. Uh, it comes with a brush and it comes with all the leads and what have you. So um, we'll have a look, look at that in another video. But um, I need that for my roller seat for my... Um, Dennis, just to weld that shut a little tiny bit, and also my trailer wants a little tiny um, tidy up too. I need to redo a tailgate on my trailer, so um, that come in handy for that. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mows, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two more on my Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6:30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's check out this little tiny leaf blower. Right, I've got some other little projects that I'm working on. Um, I've got quite a few videos uploaded at the moment. I thought I'd, um, I found a little tiny stationary engine, a little tiny Villiers stationary engine, um, which was thrown in the skip. Uh, I'm not doing a video on it, I just thought, you know, it's a bit of me time and I'll just uh, have a little play with that. Um, I don't have a carburetor, uh, it's a B10, got a little Villiers um, exhaust on there. So I thought I'd have a little play with that, try and get that up and running if I can and just spray it up and, I don't know, sell it as a stationary engine or little rotavator engine or something like that so just been working on that that that's you, you probably won't see that come up you might you might just see it running at some point but uh just been sort of playing myself it's a bit a bit of me time which is quite nice a little tiny screw there it's losing losing the bits here mick um so this is what we've got uh this little tiny leaf blower as i say he says uh he said it was all running fine and it, it doesn't no longer so uh that's what that is so let's before we do anything let's have a little prime So straight off the bat, I am seeing it seems to be getting a lot of uh, a lot of fuel or something coming out of that grommet. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. So that could be our problem. Broken fuel lead, possibly. glass or a bit of something that doesn't look quite right what's in there what have we got in here that just looks like oil I don't know about you but he buys that pre-mixed is what he said that looks um, not right to me did you get that yeah he did that that's just oil let me bring the bloke up because um that's just straight two stroke oil 
no idea. Let me ring him up. I'll get back to you in two ticks. Right, so I just left him a little message because um, he didn't he didn't answer. But uh, yeah, that, that's uh, look at look at the consistency. That's that's just that's just plain oil. There's no there's no petrol in there at all. So let's um, I mix them all petrol up anyway. I do that in a bit, but I have got a broken fuel line there, which is not going to be helping. Let's get that petrol out the way, that oil out the way. Um, let's put the cap back on. I need to swirl that out with some fuel in a bit. Um, I have got a broken fuel line, which is going to be an absolute pig to get. I know it is. I'm not sure whether that's a return yet or or what it is. Um, I don't want to have to take all of this stuff off. So let me just clean this tank out with a bit of petrol. Um, just get rid of some of this excess oil. Then I'll see if I can't find the filter in here. If the filter comes out, then I'm on a bit of a winner. Um, but if not, um, and that's a return, which I don't think it is. I think the return is this one here. Um, I can try and prime to see if it will suck anything, blow anything out of there. That might be a good idea. Oh, phone's ringing, two ticks. Um, he said he bought his pre-mixed fuel from Halfords, which I wasn't aware they did pre-mixed fuel at Halfords. I've just Googled it and they don't. So I'm not sure what's going on now. Um, I don't know whether, he's, whether or not he's uh, just purchased two-stroke oil thinking that that's what it already is, already good to go, or or what. But he says he, he always buys pre-mixed, so I, I don't know anything about it. I got, I got, I, I'm as lost as you are. No idea. Um, what I do know is um, this machine's now full of oil. Um, I have to put some fresh fuel in this tank, only plain fuel, uh, give it a bit of a swill around just to try and loosen up some of that oil in there. And I can hear something now floating about. So hopefully that's going to tell me that that is actually the um, the filter. So let me have a little look in here and try and find the filter off of this machine, which I think I can see. So I think that is actually going to be the return, that one, the one I pulled out. Let me get my forceps and have a little look ski in here. I can see a lead, but the lead I'm looking at is black. Let me get a bit of wire just to hook that out. Well, I got myself a little bit of wire. There is a little tiny um, bit of fuel line still tucked inside that grommet. I don't want to have to remove all of this, all of this stuff. Really, I don't. So I'm going to push that through if I can, ever so gently. It's just literally just in the grommet there. If I can push that through with no dramas, I might have to get an Allen key. That might be that might be a bit of a bit of a better tool to use. <clears throat> Let's, let's get an Allen key. Let's try that. I want to push that down. Hopefully that, that fuel line is going to come out. Let's push that in. There that goes. I saw something drop. There it goes. There's a bit there. So I think actually we got lucky and that's just a return that snapped off. So I am seeing... Uh, a fuel a fuel line filter in there. I might just pull that back a touch just to see what that's doing. Really strange this one. I don't, don't quite understand what's going on. Really strange. Let me try and hook um, hook that out. Let's put a slightly smaller bend in in that bit of wire. <coughs> Just so I can hook this fuel line out. Something like that. That should be appropriate. Put that in. And then I can hook. Hook that fuel line. There it is. I'm just checking to see if this fuel line's damaged any way, shape or form. There it is, there it, yeah, there it is, that's damaged too. Okay, so I've got a damaged fuel line, um, which was floating about, and a damaged um, um, return as well. So I need to now figure out, I think that the, the intake one is a one on the bottom, and the return's a one on the, on the front. So let me get some new bits of fuel line. We're gonna rethread this fuel line in. Um, so that, that, that's a problem too. That's why I want to just double check. So I'll get some new fuel lines sorted out. I'll come back once I've got some bits sorted out and uh, we'll go from there. 
Right, I've got a bit of fuel line. Um, it's roughly the right thickness. So I'll just put a little tiny point in the end of this fuel line here, just so I can uh, put it through the um, through the tank. Let me get a pair of long nose snippers, and I'm just going to literally going to feed it through the hole in the grommet in the back. That's gone all the way in straight away, which is lovely. I'm going to run that all the way down through. Give myself plenty of slack <clears throat> so that um, we can then hook this out the other end of the tank and then connect it up to the carburetor and put the air and put the fuel filter on. Let me now try and fish that out. There it is. Be. and a pair of snippers let's cut that off nice and tidy like so pull that through a bit um, so I've got a fuel filter on here I'm going to change the fuel filter because that would have been covering all let me grab a new fuel filter we're going to put that on if I can get it just too old So the other one's going to be absolutely smothered in oil. That I do know. So let's put that on. He's a bit fiddly, but on it goes. Push that all the way down. I like to use a cotton ones on these because they do absorb and hold a good, a good amount of fuel. So that's good. We can now put that fuel filter back in, plop it in, and then just have a quick inspection because you want that to be all the way down the far end of a tank, which I think it is. Let's come back a touch. You can just about see it. That's going to be about there. So then, just want to marry that up. I'm going to cut that about there. And then get me my fuel line onto the carburetor. Just replace one fuel line at a time. That way you'll find it easier. I need a longer pair of pliers, two tacks. Right, I found my pair of long nose. These are better. So now I can get hold of that fuel line and uh, put that onto the carburetor. Very, very gently, gently. There she goes. Try not to pierce the fuel line. Like right, that fuel line's now in. So now we can just push that one down because you've got no kinks in it, you see. And then with a spare bit of fuel line, which is this bit here, you don't want too much because um, this is just for a return. Um, it's going to be about, give it a little tiny bit, about three or four inches. Again, just cut the end at an angle, just like so. <coughs> Tip the machine up so you can get access to it. And we want to remove this other fuel line now, which is your return, which is snapped off. Oh, that's well on there. I use a little tiny craft knife just to mark the fuel line. And then just push it in towards the carburetor and it just come off. Like so. That's that one gone. And then you can get hold of your one of a point on it. And that's now got to go into the other hole. Into the grommet. Make sure it goes all the way in, and then connect that onto the uh, onto the carburetor itself. Let's push that in 
all the way. That's actually doing its job. I think that's got him. Methinks. There it goes. We can now push this one onto the carburetor itself. Mount that onto there. Now, if in the event you get this around the wrong way, all you've got to do is just change the carburetor end. You haven't got to refread the whole tank. <clears throat> Make sure your leads go all the way down so you get no kinks. I'll have to let him know that Halfords don't sell a, well, not that I know, a premix fuel anyway. <clears throat> right, so that's now all done. Let me get some um, some mixed fuel. Um, I find what it takes. I'll probably run it at 50 to 1, I dare say. Um, something like that. But I'll have a little look so I can find out what it is because I, I don't think that is actually uh, the manufacturer. I don't think. G Tech. I'll have a look so I can find. But anyway, I mix some fuel up and I'll come back in two ticks. Right, so I just mixed up some fuel and just to show you the difference between the two. That's his fuel, or whatever that was in there, and here's my fuel in there. So you can see that the, the, the contrast is, is, is night and day, okay? So I'm not quite sure what's that in there. Um, we'll have a chat about it when he, when he turns up to pick it up, if I can get it to run. Um, so I'm gonna put some fuel in now. 500 mil going in. I mixed it at 50 to one for now. I couldn't find any information on it at all. So 50 to one's not gonna, <coughs> not gonna hurt it, but uh, just for a run up, but uh, I will try and investigate more. But as, as I say, that G Tech, I don't, I don't think that's actually uh, the name of it, because it's actually got the name of, it, <coughs> name of a garden center underneath it. And that's, I think that's their sticker, I think. So that now goes into there. I'm gonna do that up. That's it. And we're now gonna prime for a good time. That's going in and out through as it should do. So we'll take it outside and we'll, uh, we'll go for a little sneaky fire up and see what doesn't happen. I'm guessing it's gonna smoke, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's take it outside and have a little look, see if we haven't fixed this machine. Right. Oh yeah, you're there. Let's have a little look then. So give us some primes. Got no fuel looks at the bottom end pipes now, which is good. Choke apparently, that's a choke there apparently. So choke on is pull it out. Is there an on off switch? That's stop. So I guess you just fire it up and then uh, you hit the kill button to stop it. That's what I'm guessing. Let's have a little look now, see what happens. Well, it's running, but it's very smoky. Good run. Absolutely full of oil. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the plug out, clean the plug up. I might take the muffler off as well and um, just clean that up. But give it a good run. I'll see in a bit once I've done that. And uh, I don't have the sparker restaurant in. Yeah, there's a sparker restaurant in as well. So clean that out. And uh, we'll go from there. But it's also a good run now. I'm back in two ticks. It's had a good run. I've actually just done some leaves up round by, round by my garden here. Um, it hasn't got the spout on it, but uh, no biggie. So um, I'll clean the muffler out. It's still a little bit smoky. You see it's burning it off, but it's, it's going to get better as, as the more you use it. So it should now fire straight up. Okay. And no smoke. But it still smells really oily. So the more use the better. Quick little fix.
Okay, so there you have it. Nice little simple fix. Um, two new fuel lines, a new fuel filter, and uh, a tank flush, and then literally just put some, some proper petrol in it. Um, I'll have a chat with him. I'll show him my um, two-stroke mixing video, and then he can then mix his own. I think he says it's about seven pound for a litre um, of pre-mix, which is about right. It's about five or six pound for two-stroke fuel. Halford's a little bit more pricier, so I think he has just dumped just straight two-stroke fuel in there. I'm not sure what he's done, but I'll have a chat with him and um, show him the video so he can actually see that the consistency between what he's using and what I've just put in is, uh, is night and day. But anyway, that's a quick little video for you on um, how to fix a little two-stroke um, leaf blower and get it up and running. Doesn't need no carburetor tuning. It's now stopped smoking, which is really good. So super, super happy. If this is your first time in watching Mixed Mo's, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set your notifications to all. That way you'll be told when I've done a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mo's very, very soon. But until then, people, we don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.